Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. We have Kevin Nader here, coming fresh from a top 8 from this online regional this weekend. Tell us what you play. I played the Cell Starter Expert deck that just recently got a huge buff for the promo. Hey, so, nice, nice. Sort of an old one. Uh, on the Unawakened side, you get to place an Android card from your hand, draw a card, then get to KO a 3 drop Sort of relevant against some decks. Uh, when your life is at 4 less, so there are 3 more cards underneath, you get to untap one, draw one, go down to 5 life. Uh, realistically, you're just never getting down to 4 life to awaken. You're just always going to have 3 cards underneath. And then on the front side, you get to on swing, place another android underneath, and draw two cards. So always drawing heaps, always cycling, and then activate main, place two cards from under your this card into the drop area. KO your one of your opponent's battle cards with any cost, and then get five pay power and crit for the turn. So this effect is really useful and it hard carries the deck along with the new promo. So not a lot of cards really have barrier anymore, which is kind of good for this deck you still have some spot variant removal but it essentially you're just clearing your opponent's ball for free every time with this leader yeah for sure really good uh yeah now that's come back yeah this leader is actually really good yeah free filter as well kind of a tip for this deck yeah when you you do have a three or less try not to play it because if you do play it and they kill with this effect they can free play a android 17 18 Yep. Which they can get a free crit off you and then place it on the leader. So yeah, try not to play a three drop if you can. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. A lot of decks will just combo it off anyway because everyone needs the energy now. Yep. Uh, I, I literally never care anything on this front side anymore. Unless I'm holding my awakening to turn three and then sometimes it is relevant. But most of the time you just want to turbo awaken and just start smacking them in the yep. face realistically. For sure, for sure. Cool. So first I'll go over the, the main addition to this deck. The, the Cell promo oh, that got released okay. from the last few regionals. So 20k, 6 drop, deflect, double strike. When you, to play this card, it has to be under your leader. So to put it under your leader, you would just use your leader effect. So either Unawaken, put it underneath draw card, or when you swing. When you place it underneath your leader, you get to go look through your deck, find two one-drop cards, which are Android 17, 18, or Cell, put them into your hand, and then discard a card from your hand to the drop. So a big point is this doesn't have to be one of the cards that you got from your deck. It can be anything. So that's really relevant in case you need to get rid of dead cards or you want to set up things like hunt and the drop. Um, so pluses you one when you put it underneath. And then when you play this card, you get to KO one of your opponent's cards and then also play a one drop cell from the drop area. So essentially, to when you pay one to play this, you put one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck, play it out, and then you replace that card. Because the one drop will either draw you or go into something that does draw you. So essentially it's a, fr a one drop 20k double strike, which could be a 25k double strike if you choose to play the mono green version like I am. Uh, but essentially this card just says, I will always get my perfect turn one if I see this in my opening hand. Yeah, basically you can, can you awaken turn one? Yeah? If you really want if to you, if you If your opponent plays a battle card, you can awaken yes. turn one. If you have the three drop endo 17, yep. 18, you do the perfect curve. But normally what you'll do is you'll put this under your leader. You'll go get this endo 17, and you'll go get this cell, you'll put the cell on the drop, you'll play this Android 17, it's just a one drop uh, draw, look top five for any Android, yep. no no cost restriction. Honestly, probably the best thing to find is just another one of these six drops, and then this has an effect where you just get to put on your leader for free. So now you're at two cards on the leader turn one, and you've still got a bigger hand than when you started the turn with, somehow, it's which crazy. is very insane. Sounds like value to me. It is so much value. This card's uh, insane, right here. Yep. I think it's so, up to like 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah, it uh, doesn't surprise me. Well, this, we, you, we've only had two tournaments to get them. Yeah. I only pulled three, so I'm gonna have to chase another one up. Yeah, for no sure. worries. I got one for you. No, if you uh, need to borrow you, one. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, to support that, the main other package you play is yeah, four of this well. Android 17, four yeah. of this Android 18, and then three of this cell. So I chose to run the mono green version. I was testing the yellow green union ver version like Alan was running. Yeah, union absorb, yep. Yep, but it just was, I just ha I just didn't figure it out. Yeah. Like, I'm like he did, I just, I'm not, the, <laughs> I'm not the best deck builder. I had something very similar to his, but just couldn't put the pieces in the correct way. But when John showed me the mono green version, I was like, okay, this is just green Gohan, but just better now. Like you just, you, there's no reason to not play this over green Gohan. And I found a lot of success with that deck, so I was like, I'll just jam this and see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, great success with it as well, you know. Like, and also to be honest, like I don't think we had that much time to test because we also play like One Piece and Fusion. Yeah, World, so. this is definitely the, the third game now somehow. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, yeah. but you know, so yeah, this one's the so this is top the top five, five for yep. an Android. Draw this one. one's just a draw one, 
And this is just a draw one on play. So you literally can just ignore the rest of this card because yep. it's for the token deck. But it's literally just when you play this off the cell, when you play this, you draw a card. Yep. And Wait. then you just combo off as the energy. So you always have that. Nice, nice. So you have those. Then straight into just good green stuff. Run two of the eight drop Goku, the classic yep. barrier removal. Uh, there's no reason not to run this card in a green deck realistically. I run one of the eight drop big boy. It's just another board clear. So this deck can be aggressive as well as defensive when needed. So if I just need to clear my opponent's board because they've just had a huge turn and I've run out of cards under my leader or I want to save them because it's a self-perfect force, I can just slam this. And I'm kind of defended if I've got a unison because we run the, the classic unison along with Dormant Legends package. For sure. With the unison as well, so easy to play Dormant. Exactly. So I think these are good ratios. This is like a flex spot. If you don't like the card, don't play it. But definitely... Yep. If it was as a one-off, it's a 5k combo. It's never not that bad to have. Yeah, no, you got uh, access to you know, triple strike revenge. You know, it's exactly. Pretty, it's pretty good, you know, and uh, it looks pretty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> too. That's why we play it. Along to go with that, I actually run the faded rivals package. Yep. So we run six, uh, three of the six drop Goku, and then two of the Piccolo faded rivals. So you actually, we also run the four drop in the deck. So essentially, this just says on turn three, going first, I have something to do that isn't uh, just play either a unison out or play another cell. So I found a lot of time you're kind of just doing nothing on your, if you go first, your turn two is ideally awaken, play a cell. Oh, sorry, play Z unison, awaken, play a cell. And then turn three, if they haven't managed to clear unison, you don't need to play another one. And you're kind of just stuck because all these cards here all say if your opponent has three more energy to play, so you can't actually do anything going first. Yeah. So this nice. is just a, a 19k cantrip. If you have a Xenus and up, great. It becomes a dual attacker. Otherwise, a lot of the time I just combo it off for the Fatal Rivals, or I just draw to play the draw card and swing for 19k. Oh, um, I think, yeah. The big thing is, this is really good to yellow as well. Yeah. Because a lot of the time they're going to hold up Mutaito. This just goes, okay, cool. I'll just kill something anyway. Also pretty good against uh, Vegito, the blocker as well. Yeah, you can just pop it. <laughs> yep, yeah, once uh, once we get past the early phase and I haven't died to Vegito where I'm not in a critical state, it's really good to have that. That's just another another option. Uh, just the super combo for the deck, it's just the best super combo. Yep. You could run the bottom deck one, so I have considered that because there is a lot of... Uh, <laughs> there's mill now, yeah. this deck draws a lot. I think if you hit the perfect curve um, and you haven't taken any damage, Yep. You go up to something like 12, 13 cards in hand, turn two. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, And a lot of it is that you filter your deck a lot of the dead cards out. So like all the one yep. drops and stuff. So you're just going to see all your good cards um, eventually. So I could see putting the other one in just so you <laughs> don't move yeah, yourself yeah. out. Because I had two games against Cool the Mill. Yeah. I won one against Tim. Shout out to Tim from my locals. One with two cards left in deck. And then the other one I won with seven cards left in deck. And yep. so it's like, against him, I literally had four super combos in hand, which are dead. Because I couldn't use them that yeah. turn, otherwise I'd die. I think if, and also I think Alan was running the Great Saiyan Man one as well, because uh, you got Union Absorb pieces, maybe your four drop, you know, you want back in the deck. It, or exactly, like, Something yeah. like that, so. So I could definitely see you doing the 2-2 two -two split like he did, just because, yep. yeah, there is a benefit to having more cards in your deck, less just warping dead cards. Yeah, because the deck digs so deep. Like, yeah, you sure. draw like crazy, so. Yeah, yep. decking out is definitely a problem. <laughs> yep. Uh, one charismatic, I mean, you're green, you just play it, you have a Z unison, it just means this card's always live when you yep. want it to be. No it's reason not to play it anymore. Like Too good, secret, yes. <laughs> Z unison just makes like all counterplay is just insane now. Yeah. So, um, Worst case 5k combo. <laughs> yeah, that, that too. So I run three of the King Piccolo Negate. This is one of the new promos. This card has been busted, it has always read so well. There's just never been a good non sane green deck until now. So this says, for every card that's in your Z energy or drop, that's a non-Saiyan green battle card, reduce its cost by one. So in this deck, if you've played the Cell and you've popped your leader ability, you're going to have two in there, potentially even three most of the time by turn three. Yeah. And so this just says, negate the attack on play, KO or fire drop or less, and remove a marker from your opponent's unison. On the plus side, that's also a 20k crit. So if they don't remove it, cool, 20k crit. If they do remove it, it's something else they have to, to waste energy on. Um, but the biggest thing is is it's a hard negate that doesn't cost you a life. Yeah. 
second effect is huge as well. It's almost a Kamehameha deflection, you know? Yeah, it's, like, it, if you're running a non-insane green deck, it's just better than the extra card. Yeah. Like, it's just, you, you might as well just play this instead. You can it's, get punished if you miss sequence into this. Kill a five or less, remove a marker as well. That's yeah, huge. It yeah, it is very useful. And I, I think three is the correct number. Yeah. Time for it's me to go buy those. <laughs> yeah, good luck finding those now. <laughs> Um, the last piece of the Endro package is two of the perfect four cell. Oh, let's, uh, let's switch. So this is the old card. You can literally ignore the only way you play this is using the new extra card that was introduced with this yep. deck. Retched. So retro regeneration. It's also just a negate. So pay one negate, discard a card, play a cell if you want to. So you can essentially cycle a dead card from your hand if yep. you want to. Uh, but the main one is pay one for the card, pay an extra four. And you can play this cell from underneath your leader. And so when you play this, you make your opponent discard down to three cards in hand. Yep. So I actually never got it off because uh, I just killed people quicker yeah, than exactly, I would need yeah. to. But it's always just against blue. So I didn't reverse any blue today. But against blue, it's just a ticking time bomb for them. And so if they keep open energy for either a counterplay or just the borers, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll just flood the board with everything else instead. And it's like, you've kind of wasted your turn preparing me to perfect force sell you. Now that I haven't done it, your whole plan is just kind of ruined. Yeah, no, this card's great. Yeah, honestly, against the control matchup, we definitely need this card. Mm. Yeah, yeah, really, so, yeah. really good. Against M, I just, I just let go turf up. I'm like, I'm not milling myself. You can just discard down. I'm sorry, M, but... Yeah. Uh, we always got to have a plan for Hatch in, in, at this locals. Yes, sir. Shout out to him. <laughs> <laughs> I have to respect him too with those yeah. rebel hammers. It's so sad. <laughs> uh, I run one of the double strike. Yep. So this guy is essentially just a chomper. You pay one combo with him. He gives the Android card 5k and double strike. Yep. I mean, especially with this leader, you can pop a, when you pop a card, you become a 20k crit. Combo this, that's 30k crit double strike. Yes, sir. For one energy. And... You do that turn three, people are going to be at five or six life. Yeah. They're like... <laughs> they cop the crit. They're, it's like, okay. Yeah, I'll cop the you, crit. Yeah, it's fine. You just, you just have to. You're not getting out of... You're not using cards. So taking people from six to four or five to three, if they just can't negate, is, is huge. Yeah, really good. And searchable as well off the yes. 17. Everything that's Android in this deck, you just play every good Android card yep. and then just play a bunch of good green generic stuff. Is pretty much how the deck was built. Um, to keep in line with that, we play a four cell ZDK. Hey! Uh, to go in line with, you want to play, because a lot of your deck revolves around your opponent being on three energy. Yep. This just says in the middle, in the early games, I'm going to punish you when you have a hard choice to make. So a lot of people don't have a lot of cards in hand, deck in hand at the start of the game. This just says, do you have eight cards in hand? Choose the one you don't want the most right now. Um, it also goes well with the Z leader, as Betty found out. You get to combo with this for free yep. if you're on your Z leader once per turn. And uh, a free 25k, which makes your opponent discard, is yeah, very, cracked, very broken. Cracked. Uh, the overall choice for the deck, uh, I think yeah. you kind of use your drop a little bit when you play the cells, but towards the end of the game, when you want to push through lethal, I think just having an overarm that clears a body is very useful. So if you're, you're going in for double strike, your opponent turn yep. you play this, and they swing for lethal, and you just dump on it. And I think it's always good to have... Yeah. I always include... This is my default. If I want to include an over on my deck because I don't care how I drop, I just always just chuck this in. It's always good. Yeah, 30k swing, you know, free spot removal. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. So... To go with all the surviving, we have four Dormant Legend. Yep. And then three Homicidal Clones. So... Because your leader takes you down to five, this is live as soon as you awaken. Beautiful. So it actually stops a lot of decks which will try and cheese you, either keeping you at high life, yeah. or will try and take you from like six to four through awkward numbers. You go straight to five and you go, that's a double strike, I'll go to four please. And you just play this. Um, I will say I think the yellow green version is probably slightly better than this deck purely because that blocker means you can dormant and not have to eat whatever that first is. Yep. So a lot of the time I would dormant because I need to, but then I'm always having to, like, that first hit is always coming through. And if that's a big hit, I'm going to be in an awkward state where it's like, some turns I couldn't dormant because if I did, I mean, I'd probably lose just because that first hit was like uh, 45k double probably as Tapion. Yeah. And that's taking me from three to one. So it just meant Tapion, uh, the potential is off the table. So I think that's the bonus, the benefit of playing the yellow green version. You can definitely play more defensive, whereas this is kind of just like slam good green cards and hope you get there. Yeah, this version feels more aggressive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So my two SCRs for the deck, uh, the actual SCR I'll go through first is just Bursting Rage. So everyone knows what this card does. You get 20k power, you draw a card, you go into your Z leader, which I'll show you in a bit. 
and then you can't attack with 25k power or more battle cards and unisons, which is actually relevant against the new Goku. Yeah, cards just good. I think it's the SDR of choice. You, know? yeah. you can run some other cheese ones, but yeah, I tried, ones really good. Yeah, I tried out Poronga for a bit. It feels too slow in this version just because you're trying to just put on maximum pressure every turn. Like taking a turn to kind of just build a hand advantage isn't something you need to do since you already have 14 cards in turn in the hand. Yeah. So definitely. And then the card that is Ooh, busted in this deck. Yes, sir. So the four drop SS Sun Goku Valiant Breakthrough. Essentially, this card just says, I'm tapping you out. Uh, so Crazy. what happens is you can play this card for free. Let me double check. Uh, you can ignore the auto. Auto doesn't matter. <laughs> All yeah. you care about is if you have a cell with a cost greater of four, which turns out this is crazy. Yeah. You can then play this for free and you can't play another one off the turn. When you play this card, you get to choose one of your opponent's cards and rest it. So not battle cards, but cards. So in one of my games against Android 21, they I swung with Leader. They had ramped. So they were on four energy. And when I was on three with energy marker, they ramped. They floodgated me first. I kept on poking at them. They untapped. And then I played this to do to then punish them for using their super combo early. And then from there, I just like, they had no chance because they were expecting to be able to do double flood gaming, but this just said no. It's crazy. Yeah. This car's this car is really good. Like, honestly, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even know about this until uh, you and Ellen were talking about it in the group chat. And we're like, damn, there's a final spirit cannon. That's yeah. an energy. You can yeah, tease exactly. people if you don't know about it. Like, it's a good one of. I could see it going to two, but the only thing is your opponent has to be at four more energy. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of a late game card. Um, one's fine, one's fine. I one's think, fine. Yeah. You you cycle through so much of your deck. Like, I think yeah. even with that being milled, I'll probably end the game on 15 cards yeah. every game in deck. Cool, I'll go through the Z deck choice. So you just have yep. two of the Ultra Commandment. It's just good green Z extra. Standard. So <laughs> you, when you, because you're playing the mono green version, you don't go into the Union Absorb target. You will just have that one drop uh, cell from after you played off this from drawing. Yep. So you just swing, combo that off, 25k, and then you will just have one Z extra for this. So all the time to spend the extra energy if I don't really have anything else to do with it, I don't have negates or I don't have cells EDK. I'll just put this out and I'll go, okay, over the game I'm gonna build the energy and I'm just gonna use it at the most opportune time. Yep. See that? Three Bardock Unison. Um I, your ideal turn your ideal turn two is to play this, then go into the cell. Um that can mean uh over comboing sometimes just to get a card in Z, but the plus zero just says draw a card. So it replaces yeah. itself when you combo to get the Z energy, which is huge. Like the blocker is sometimes relevant. So even things like this, if you give this blocker, you don't care that it's in rest mode. Your opponent is most likely just going to need to remove this card anyway. And if they can't remove your unison before removing this, your unison goes to three markers. And now they have to remove a three marker unison while also removing this card. It's actually really hard for them to do that. Mm, yeah. So you don't necessarily care about the blocker, but it is good to just get free markers if you put it on a valuable card that you know your opponent wants to remove. Yeah. Which is what I found I've done most of the time. Yeah. And then, yeah, the other one is you make your opponent discard a card. It's really good towards the end. If it's still alive, you just go, okay, I'm just going to ditch the energy and make you just discard a card. Um, random one ofs. We have the Android Critter. Just take a life. Yeah. It's good it's sometimes <laughs> if you need to go down to four for uh, certain matchups with the side deck. Yeah. Freezer, Broly, Jiren, just... One of each. One of, like, <laughs> yeah. You just put good, they're just good green yeah. Z, Z battle cards. Like, why would you not run them? You have 10 spots now. Yeah. I never played any of them because the deck just has so many better things to do all the time. But, I mean, hey, you just put random good yeah. green Basically, stuff Basically, Z cards, Z deck is so toolboxy now. Yes, yeah, yeah, I would say. When the time comes up, you might have to run one of them. Yeah, sure. Yes. And then we have the Z leader. Oh, so actually relevant. <laughs> very relevant in the deck. It doesn't have double strike of fortune, which make it busted. Yeah. But essentially, it's if you're at three or less life and you pay two, you can Z Awaken into it. You never do that. It's literally only through the SCR. Yeah. But when this card attacks, draw a card. You care when you burn cards. The po another important part of this is when this card is played onto your leader, you get 5k for the turn. So either offensively or defensively, you can get a beam for the turn. So that's huge into a lot of go wide decks. So 20k is like the sweet spot where a lot of decks will swing for. So if you become a 25, you can tax their hand heaps for them to keep on swinging. Yeah. Uh, and it just deters a lot of decks. And then activate battle once per turn, you can just use the Cells EDK for free. Yep. Because, sure. What, uh, the, the, it needs to do something else, I guess. Yeah, crazy. Caught me off guard. I didn't know you can use Cells EDK for free. I'm like, surely something's not right. And yeah. I was like, yep, it is right. <laughs> yep. So yeah, very good. Uh, I think it is definitely the correct choice for, of SCR. So you can go into the Z leader. I uh, just... Yeah. 
being able to stop U7 is good enough in itself, plus all the other benefits you get. Yep. Go into the side deck. So first we have we any have? hand destruction, just the when this card is discarded, play it instead, draw a card, yep. just for green mirrors. Yeah, green, um, green Goku, Green Gohan. Yeah, you name I, it. <laughs> I do side it into yellow sometimes. If I know they're running Purunga, yep. I will side this in as kind of like an anti cheese card. Because yeah. I have caught like John off guard before where I started it in, he didn't realize <laughs> I did. He tells me to discard two. I play both of them and he's like, this guy. I'm like, yes, yeah, sir. No, it definitely is so pretty good. It's oh, good. Also relevant to 21 as well. Exactly. Yeah, 21, you can. They make you pitch. Uh, two of the anti Benny cards. So yes, let's go, baby. If you. Is it your turn? Yeah, yeah during your turn, when you come with this card, if your friend has to realize energy, so essentially, you just remove Vegeta, Vegito's first Vegito. Yeah. It's just, okay, we'll, right. we'll keep playing the game, which is really good, especially in this deck, because from that turn onwards, you can then just remove them with your other you know, removal card, so... Didn't verse Benny, so didn't need it, <laughs> yep. but it is always there. I, this, this, is now a, this is now a staple, as long as that deck is staple, you just have yeah. to have it in the side. Otherwise, you just get blown out. Really good into like uh, uh, Gogeta Exodia as well, like random yeah. stuff. Exactly, yeah. Like, it's good to have. Uh, two coins, mainly for Cooler Mill, yep. and just random like hatch. Blue, Tapion, Hatch, just anything where I'm like, okay, my opponent's going to try and stall me, or do things on my turn where I don't want them to, you just put this in. Yeah. So it was actually relevant against Tim because this caused him to go down in hand and then he could no longer kill me that turn. And yeah. so I won the turn it's after. It's very hard for Cooler to play around Koitsukai, even with Explosive Dance. I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes if, you, if, you, if you're a good player, like you, like I think these cards are really relevant here. Like you combo mm. these, you know, these, these are Explosive Dance targets. Like as bad as they look, like, oh, you might yeah. not need them. Like 35, 35, like, come on. You can swing with anything you want if you combo one of these. So, exactly. Yeah. Uh, one off hunt. Uh, yep. Just because the deck cycles so much, you're gonna see it. You just put in the drop with uh, the cells effect, or yeah, the cells effect. That's good enough, I guess. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah. You just do that, and you're just like, all right, sweet. Now I just remove Gogeta, SCR, uh, relevant into green, especially the eight drop triple striker. You remove the ability for them to disc make you discard three cards. Use leader effect, pop it. It's just yeah. It's just a good card it's overall. Just, like it's good into blue, uh, D magic, time magic. You just you name it. It's yeah. one of those cards you just always have in your side deck now because yep. it's, it's just always relevant. Uh, two of this is Zamasu. So shout out to John for this tech. It is literally just to counter U seven. Yep. So if you, it's essentially another way apart from your SCR to say I'm not dying this turn to that six drop because that six drop is annoying because they will push you down. If you're at two life, you cannot afford to dormant a lot of the time because you're just going to die anyway. So you just go, I'm going to hold some energy up, and I'm just going to play yeah. this instead. It is a bit harder now with um, Prunga, but I think it's just, you just have, you need as many options as you can have against that deck because it just does some bullshit things, realistically. Uh, focus Breakthrough. So this card, really good into mainly black. <laughs> this is yeah. like, just like, mainly uh, Oceanus Negate. I started this in against Cool Mill, yep. just so I could counter play the Oceanus Negate. And also hits the Bora, which is nice. Yeah. So I did actually, one of the games, I had both of them in hand. I counterplayed his Debora first. Next turn, I counterplayed his Oceanus because he didn't expect me to have the second one. Yeah. And then that just won me the game from there. Kai's just really good because your leader uh, inherently goes to five, you homicidal go to four. It's just so easy to yeah. have uh, focus breakthrough like. Yeah. So even even against Cooler, he never swung into my leader. I just yep. did this. Yep. This is actually, if this wasn't in the side deck, in the Z deck, I'd probably lose that game. Hey, toolbox, there we go. Exactly. Uh, Trunks. This one is the indestructible Can barrier I... destroyer one. Uh, very relevant into so, random, yeah, random Zamasu bullshit. Also really relevant into Android 21. Yeah. Because a lot of the time that four drop is going to choose an indestructible card from their Z deck. And then you have no way to remove it except for this card. Yeah, so good, good tech for that. It's also just a, if you have a card you're never going to play in the matchup, you just put this in as another attacker. Yeah. Also good into red because you can just combo it off. Yeah, explosive dense fodder. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, one anti blue card. Uh, the you, you go aggro enough that yep. you only need one. You're gonna find it. Yeah. Card explains itself. And then the other spicy tech that John told me about is this Android Actually, Seventeen. No, I clear what this does. Titan yeah. Toppler. So I'll give it a quick go through. If your leader is an Android card, your opponent has no battle cards, and your opponent has a battle card with energy cost greater than the current energy, and you have no battle cards to play. You can play this for free. So essentially, if your opponent has something big and you have nothing, which against a lot of decks is going to be the case, you play it for free. When you play it, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost. Uh, choose up to one of your battle cards, okay. negate skills for the turn, and it can't switch to active mode. 
The main thing is it gives you a free way to negate skills. Really good into Gogeta SCR. <laughs> so they wipe your board, you free That's play this, true, leader, leader ability, pop, pop Gogeta SCR. Gogeta SCR, shout out Jun. Yeah, Jun. Give me nightmares. Yeah. I, Depression. Give me the maximum amount of answers to, to just delete that deck yeah, because... When, when they always say it on turn three, what are you supposed to do? You know, exactly. Scoop, don't waste my time. Also really good for things like this. It's just, it, yeah. like, they'll play this in, in the Grimmer. They play That's this. That's true. You play this back, get to free clear it. And then you can start building your board again. Actually, that is really good. Yeah, they clear your board and then you negate his skills. You don't have to pitch. No triple strike, no revenge. So good, actually. Exactly. So, yeah, this was like... It's a sideboard card. Like, I could see it going to two because yeah. it is really relevant against, like, green. But yeah, it's not something you really need in every matchup. So, you just have to start it out. Yeah. That's a good card, yeah. Cool, really. and that is the whole deck. Do you want to run over some of your matchups if you remember any of them? Yeah, so round one, my opponent didn't show up, so I'll throw a good hey, day. We take those. Yeah, we take those. I got to have coffee in the morning, so it was nice. Yeah, no. uh, round two was versus Tim. Shout out Tim. Yeah. I beat him cool and mill in, with two cards left in deck. It Yo, was a very that's, close that's... matchup. I had to stop drawing with my leader at one point because I was yep. getting very close. Uh, and yeah, he made a mistake, but it was down to hindsight whether or not they like which line was correct from the take. So yep. very close game, but they always are with him. Uh, round three was against Android Twenty One, so yep. that was the game where I cheesed him essentially. So hey. he, he ran to turn yep. three, goes to four energy. My turn three with the, the energy marker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Swing. He needed floodgates. I swing again with my leader. Yep. He then super combos to get out of it. I play, because I was still in the cell on the board because he just didn't really have a way to remove it. I had too much of a wide board for him to like yeah. remove it. Uh, free play it, tap his energy, and then it was just uh, Fatal Rider's package. Yeah. And I was just like, he's just like, my hand is dead. I'm like, oh, nice, that's what yeah. I like to hear. So that was that. And then the fourth round was to Goku Green, like the, the new Goku deck. Yeah. Uh, Gone Cooler. Is a is a cooked card. Yeah. Essentially, he went second, which is worse for me in that matchup actually, because then I had to consider whether I want to charge two four energy. Yeah. But I figured in my build because a lot of my cards cost two, I just wasn't really gonna kill him in time if I didn't do it. And yeah, then he just instead fair. of playing cool, he's just gonna drop the big triple strikers, and I'm just like my deck will just fumble. So I had to take the risk. That he didn't see it. He saw it on turn four, slams it with the energy marker. Oh, and from just that's... there, I just I just couldn't do anything. Like, Golden Cool is still very good SCR. You just if you have that SCR and you have nothing better, you just put that in, and it's just good enough. Yeah, it just wins games. The exactly. one card alone. Yeah. If your deck doesn't have a win condition, that is your win condition. Yep. You draw that card, play it, and win. Yeah, hope for the best. Yep. Uh, t round five was against Max. Shout out Max. Uh, against Gohanks. That matchup was we played a fair few times the day before. He beat me like four times in a row. I didn't manage to get there. I kind of missequenced my final turn where I should have been comboing to build up the Z energy because I figured he had the negate in hand. But every time I swung the battle card, he didn't want to use it because he wanted to make sure that I then didn't chain my leader into everything else. Yeah. So I got a lot of free poke in, but I should have been comboing cards from my hand. So then when he didn't get my leader swing, I could then go back and keep on swinging. Yeah. So yeah, he just... Timed it well. He just, yeah, he timed yeah. it well. I forgot about, like, that he could still have it. Because when he didn't do it the first one, I'm like, okay, I'm sweet. Yeah, he just yeah, doesn't yeah. have it. Yeah. But he definitely he definitely outplayed me there. So shout out to him. He's a very good player. Came second, so can't be too upset losing that. And then in the final round was another cooler mill. Uh, my lessons from the going down to two cards in deck against him definitely helped me there. And so I stopped drawing even more in that matchup. But essentially just, yeah, focused on trying to get him into two and then just double striking him for game. Yep. And then, yeah, ended up uh, eight, which yeah. is very nice. I was, nice. I, was, I was sitting there refreshing the page. I, I swear. I was I think... just waiting for the final standings. Yeah. I, was yeah. so I think last in. time in Sydney you got ninth. You, were you fell just yeah, short. I got, yeah, I yeah. Tenth, yeah. It so, always sucks when you fell just yeah, short. So but... On the right side of the, the bubble this yeah. time, so it was, good to feel, it was a good feeling. For sure, for sure. All right, any final shout outs you'd like to give? <laughs> uh, shout out to just the boys in general on the team. Shout out to Tack for running it. Shout out to Turnover for the great locals. Yep. Uh, Max and Alan for <laughs> being the extended family. Yeah, they are. Uh, of the master scene. Yes, sir. And yeah, that's it. All right, sweet. Now, until next time, we're signing out. Peace. Catches.